Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have m plus 9 whole square equals to 49 and we solve this problem for the values of m. So here in this problem we will discuss two methods uh, and please uh, you, uh, you just uh, show the comment, you just show in a comment which one of the method you liked. Or if you have any other method in your mind, please uh, explain into the comment section so here and uh, now we proceed our um, first method so in first method uh, we will just directly take the square root on both of the sides and when you take square root on both of the sides it will be written as m plus 9 whole square and its square root equals to square root of 49 and you see here, uh, if we have a square and its square root, it is equals to a only because these two and square root are cancelled by each other. Okay. So according to this rule, these two and square root are cancelled by each other and we will obtain m plus 9 equals to, this is, uh, you know that we write this 49 as 7 square. And uh, we have one thing more you remember here, uh, if we will take square root on both of the sides so that we will just do the plus minus sign, we will take the plus minus sign in any one of the side. Okay, so we will write here this plus minus sign, these two and square root are gone and we will get here m plus 9 equals to plus minus 7. Here we break this value and we write it as m plus 9 equals to plus 7 and here we write m plus 9 equals to minus 7. So here in this case we have m equals to we move this plus 9 to the right hand side and it will be written as 7 minus 9. So we get the value of m equals to 7 minus 9 equals to minus 2. So this is the value of m uh, and now here in the next step we move this plus 9 to the right hand side and it will be written as m is equal to minus 7 minus 9 so uh, because this is plus 9 when we move in the right hand side it will becomes minus 9 and we get the value of m equals to minus 9 minus 7 equals to minus 60 so this is the value of second value of m because our given equation is of uh, second order, you see here, this is second order, it means that this equation has two roots. So these are the two uh, final roots of this given equation which we get from method number one. And now here we move towards our uh, method number two. And now in second method, we again copy down the given question statement here. It is m plus 9 whole square equals to 49. So here uh, we will just expand the square in the left hand side so that we apply here this algebraic formula. You know that if we have a plus b whole square it is equals to a square plus 2 times of a b plus b square. So according to this formula you see here our a is m and our b is 9. So we can expand this formula according to this we write it as m square plus 2 times of a b here our a is m and b is 9 plus b square so here our b is 9 square this is equals to 49 and now in the next step uh, we have this is m square plus this is 2 times of 9 becomes 18 m plus this 9 square equals to 81 and this whole equals to 49 so here further uh, we need to simplify the terms and we move this 49 in the left hand side and it will be written as m square plus 18m plus 81 minus 49 equals to 0. And now uh, we need to add or subtract the like terms and here we have m square plus 18m. And when you subtract 81 minus 49, uh, then we will obtain here plus 32 equals to 0. 
So now you see here this equation will become quadratic in m variable. So uh, here we have the three methods to solve the quadratic equation. The first method is factorization method. The second method is completing square and the third method, third method is by applying the quadratic formula. So these are the three methods to solve the quadratic equation. So here you can apply any one of these methods which you can like or which you can uh, expert in that method. So here I, I can just apply, uh, I can apply the factorization technique in order to uh, solve this quadratic equation. So here we need uh, any two numbers whose product is 32. We need two numbers whose product is 32 and whose sum is 18. Okay, so here you find two numbers whose product is 32 and whose sum is 18. Uh, so that these two numbers are 16 and 2 okay so i can just write it here 16 multiplied by 2 equals to 32 and 16 plus 2 equals to 18 so these are the two suitable numbers uh, which satisfied this product and sum rule so that we can break its middle term according to these two numbers and we write it as m square plus we write 18 as 16 m plus 2 m and plus this is 32 equals to 0 and now in the next step we need more simplification so first we take common m from the first two terms and we get m plus 16 and here we take common 2 and we get m plus 16 equals to 0 and here we take common m plus 16 and we get the remaining terms are m plus 2 equals to 0. So here we break this into the two cases so that the first case is m plus 16 equals to 0 and the second case is m plus 2 equals to 0. So that here uh, we easily get the value of m is equals to minus 16 and here you get the value of m equals to minus 2. So this is the uh, same answer uh, which we get from method number 1. So please uh, comment which method you like or which method uh, uh, any other method in your mind please write this method in comment section. And now here uh, we will verify these roots. Uh, and here I can just verify these roots. Is these roots are satisfied the given question statement or not? So that here we need to copy down the given question statement. It is m plus 9 whole square equals to 49. So that now we can uh, put the above two values of m here. So first we can check m equals to minus 16 in the left hand side. So that above equation is written as minus 16 plus 9 whole square. And we check that is this equals to 49 so minus 16 plus 9 equals to minus 7 square equals to 49 and minus 7 square is 49 equals to 49 this shows that m equals to minus 16 satisfy the given question statement now we check m equals to minus 2 so here uh, we will put this value of m into the given question statement uh, it is written as minus 2 plus 9 whole square equals to 49 so minus 2 plus 9 becomes 7 square equals to 49 and this is 49 equals to 49 this shows that second value can also satisfy the given question statement this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos